Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35 Wednesday editions, national editions. Uh, so these are my pickups from the national. I really didn't show off much in my lives. And I didn't really start picking up anything until Friday. Um, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Yeah, Friday. So... And, I, and I'll talk more about that on my Saturday with my final thoughts and thoughts for next year. And uh, that would conclude my national. Um, but right now, for my Wednesday editions, I thought this would be a good time. And, of course, you know, I stayed with uh, some great guys. Uh, Ed Restergriff, uh gave me this uh, awesome... Uh, Power Producers, Pete Alonzo, 2019 Rookie Year card. Did that for you, Carlos, Rookie Year. And this right here, this is awesome. Um, he, he's a Phillies guy, so this ties us in together. Richie Ashburn, New York Mets peel-off. White back and an excellent five. I mean, those are tough. Appreciate you, Ed, with some awesome, awesome additions. Uh, next is going to be, uh, Dave Midlife Card Crisis. We did a lot of ripping and I said it before, if you watch my other videos, we were just, when we got something that we knew somebody else wanted or, you know, PC'd, we just, uh, gave them to him. So this, he was open in the gallery, which I don't have much of. So this was awesome. Uh, he gave me a couple of Pete's. Awesome. 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 Um, and then, uh, then after that was, uh, East coast, East Connecticut collectibles. I think that's what it is. And I had to look it up. I'll put a description, Mike Fabian back to the community, supporting great guy, uh, OG, um, needs, needs our support. So he hit, he opened Bowman Chrome. He opened quite a bit. So I got the Singa. Uh, Vincent Perrazzo, who's up now, first Bowman. Uh, they got three catchers on there. I was looking with all their trades. I was looking to see who was on their roster last night. Max Scherzer, all-star card out of uh, Series 2, and Francisco Alvarez. So thank you, Mike. I just I, I've talked about it before. I just thought that was awesome. It just made me feel like a kid again. And then... Uh, Mike O, soon as we get, I get, pick him up, he gets me. He goes, you want this? I got this in a, a, a bulk, like, lot when he bought some uh, um, vintage stuff, he said. And this was in there. And, and he didn't have any need. I don't understand why. Uh, but it's a Mets, uh, you know, license plate, whatever. Uh, so, yes, I was like, yeah, sure, I'll take that. Why not? Um, so I thought that was awesome. Let's Go, I think, was like there sometime in the early 70s, I think, was their little slogan. Um, and, I mean, Let's Go Mets has been their slogan forever, but I think that's when they started putting it on stuff. Uh, and then he also opened Topps Chrome, so I got my first Pete. I had a Topps Chrome. And then I got the 88 Pete out of Topps Chrome. So thank you, Mike, for that. And also on Sunday, uh, he was walking around and saw this. Knows I love uh, Mike Piazza. Uh, and he knows I like oversized cards as well. Pick me up, Mike Piazza, Topps Finest. Thought it was nice. He was He saw this, thought of me. This is all nice. Oh, uh, so thank you, Mike. Thank you guys for a great week. Great memories, great friendship. And that's just a huge, huge part of this week. Um, just, just love that stuff. Uh, and then we go to the show. Well, this is a card I got at from John. I'm Wade Boggs fan. Uh, Super, super fantastic guy. Um, 
super collector of Wade bought super super over the top. Uh, he did a, a a room tour, and I was like, "Man, I love your room." Well, he goes, "That's my old place." Then I saw his new when he did a video for his national recap, and I was like, "Ooh, he's got a long ways to go." Uh, so that's going to be interesting to watch that progression in the background for me. Y'all know I love rooms. I love how they're done. Um, so that's very interesting. Uh, but he had a, a personal card that he was giving out. Uh, should have one more. Yeah, right over here. Stuk. And uh, this guy, man, me and him had a great conversation. Uh, Stuke's baseball cards and curiosities at Stuke 1976. Uh, that's all of his information right there. Great guy. Just uh, first time I met him, he, he starting out a channel. Just very good guy. Uh, we had a great conversation. I, I bet you it was 10, 15 minutes at the show. And I, it was so, I don't even know if he knew it. My back was hurting. I've talked about it enough at nauseum. Um, but he stood there and I sat there and we talked and he, and, and it was great. I, I dare say these are probably my best cards of the week. Uh, Scott reindeer studios, just, you know, you can scan that in the back and watch the video of him painting that. And it's beautiful, man, Gary. Just awesome, awesome cards. He uh, got his grail earlier this year. So I Cobb, that he's got a, a video just with all that adventure and how he pertained it. Um just, just a very nice guy. We'll be having him on one Sunday, very near in the future. Uh, on my Let's Talk. Um, I keep, me and him ran to each other, I don't know how many times on the floor. Just a nice guy. Um, and then uh, this right here, this meant a lot to me. And it, uh, just the card, the card's going to bring back the memory. Uh, you can get Emo Scott Carlos on this one. So this is uh, Frank Thomas Stando die cut, uh, standing O, and uh, and I won't go into the whole conversation. But we were up. I was upstairs. Uh, I didn't even see Carl he, or uh, or uh, Victor sitting over in the chair. Upstairs is the quiet room. Everybody snuck up there to use the bathroom to cool off, to sit in comfy chairs that were there. Some kids found it, started doing a little bit of trading up there. Um, and it was where everybody came across the uh, sky bridge from the parking lot. Um, the ones that did. Not everyone. Not at, uh, I, You could tell who's been to the show a few times and who hasn't that knows that know their way around. Um because people are still going all the way down to the first floor and going across the street. Uh, you know, it's, and that's fine. But so Victor stops me upstairs. I got this for you. and starts telling me why he got it for me. And uh, it's about the standing O and he knows I love Frank Thomas. And uh, Victor, thank you so much for the words, the card. The card is going to tie me to the words. And uh, that, that you don't know how much that meant to me and uh, the kindness of that. And Victor is, uh, I'm talking about Victor, the rookie card specialist. Uh, me and him go, I, I think he's probably like one of the early guys I connected with on this. And it was because of these shelves. Uh, me and him talked a lot about the shelves. So thank you, Victor, very much. And that was everything I got from uh, fellow YouTubers. Uh, so I didn't buy anything. I was looking for a particular item on Wednesday and Thursday for cards. But I did go, you know, they do have a uh, redemption pro 
pro program. So I brought up box of tops chrome on Wednesday. I bought let's see this tops hobby box on Wednesday because I wanted um I, I, I purposely did not buy a series two to buy it at the show for the hobby packs. That's what I did on Wednesday and I dropped off at SGC for take home. Um, I think it was 10 cards. No, no, I don't, I don't even think it was that many. And then, uh, a stack went to, I went to CGC and gave 20 to them. And, uh, that'll be, I'll be showing that later in this video or, uh, at the end. Probably, I, I take that back. I'm going to just do that in another video because it, it, yeah, I don't want to make this too, too long, my return on that. Uh, so that's what I did Wednesday uh, when I got to the show. Um, Thursday was still looking. Wednesday was basically looking around, getting lay of the land, just where everything was, looking for certain autographs before I purchased anything. So Thursday, um, again, didn't do much. I believe I didn't, I don't even think I bought anything Thursday night. I didn't, I didn't buy a thing Thursday. I, I went in there late, my back again was so hurting. I was there all whole day, Wednesday, walking around, walking that whole floor. Um, I was in some pain Thursday, I went in late. Walked around, got loosened up, felt great, searching for a certain, and you probably already guessed it, a certain auto. Never found it. Friday, get there. We go to lunch. I got to the, the show. I want to spend more, more time at the show, but I was moving slow. It took me a while to get there. Um, I finally get there, and I, this was uh, Friday. I get in the show. Um, we go to lunch. I pick up everybody. We go to lunch. I didn't even think I got to the show yet. I, yeah, I just picked everybody at the front. We went to lunch. Uh, big chicken. Recommend it. If one in comes to your town, run, no walk. Go to big chicken. Um, then I tell me and Mike walk in together, Mike O, and I'm like, he goes, what are you going to do? I go, we're going to look for that audit. That's my my only goal. And, and it was been so hot in there, I stopped carrying my backpack because, my gosh, it, it anything to stop sweating. And all it did was make me sweat. They had water jugs out in the, out in the VIP area, so I, I took a couple of waters. When I needed a refill, I just went back and refilled my bottles and – uh. I, I can't remember my back pocket. I call that my old college days, my, my uh, college cooler where I put my beers. Uh, so I just, that's what I did. And um, so I went walking around and bam, four, I wasn't even four or five tables down the, the first row. And all I'm looking for is Star Wars, people with Star Wars autographs. And I see this huge white case with all these lights and I see Harrison Ford, but it's Indiana Jones. And I go, well, let me stop. And then I look beside it where I couldn't see because the way the rows were was nothing but Star Wars pictures, eight by tens, figures, and still in perfect conditions with autographs on the card. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And not facing out of the case, and not up in the top or in the middle. It looked like they were trying, I don't know, hide it? I don't know what they were exactly doing. But about two rows up, facing towards the middle of the case, like leaning up against the sidewall, like if it was up in there leaning against it, I see Carrie Fisher. I've been wanting this for a few years. I, uh, I, this is a bucket list item. It's always... It's, it's not about getting it. It's about getting the right one. And this was the one. I was like, you know, if I got to get a card, I'll get a card. But I wanted her in her, in her uh, the uh, Jabba the Hutt slave outfit. Uh, and I'd rather have a, a picture. 
uh, that I can hang on my wall. And uh, man, this is just so I didn't buy anything off the floor as a single until I purchased that. And all I did was buy a few, little bit of wax. Oh, I did buy, I, I, uh, I knew I bought more wax. I bought Ice Hockey, Open That, and WWE, uh, a box of a WWE Prism and a Mega Box, not a Mega Box, a uh, Jumbo Box. I uh, did pretty well, and I'll show those on a later date um, on a Wednesday. Uh, but that is just awesome, awesome picture. Um, in the background, it's also my five-day early pass. We didn't really like the early pass. I wish they'd go back. I know it's a free card in the day, and they probably do so many passes now. I don't know how many cards it would be, but, man, I love the, the days of the card on it. So I got that, and I was like, I don't have found my card. So now I don't have to hold back um, buying anything. Uh, so I didn't. I w then I started. Well, I walked around a little bit, still looking for Pete Alonzo's. I kind of gave up on that, um, just because I'm like, man, this is just not going to happen. Uh, before that, real quick, uh, with those boxes, I forgot to show you. I did get some uh Bowman national cards. This is what they look like. I opened them, I do have some hits, I'll show on another day. Uh, some short print. Uh, probably Ar Nolan Arenado and Brady House are probably my best. And Brady House is, I haven't heard much of him. He was supposed to be the guy. And this was my upper deck uh, for getting the ice. So, you know, there's going to be some hockey in there. A tiger and Gretzky. People, they have, you know, deals with and then uh later on i bought some more i'll show you i got some panini and a few more packs of upper deck and then i bought some stuff from steel city they got some of that and i got my first connor bedard card so and it could be a uh, connor bedard i think in the upper deck as well uh so uh I did start shopping for singles on Thursday after that, but not too, too hard. I was still looking for Pete's. I wanted to get myself till Friday to find Pete's. I just couldn't find any. Um, so I'm trying to get stuff together that I bought together. Um, so that way it's just easy, easy to talk about. Uh, let's see. Yep. So this one. This is a single. So. Oh, no, I got it with that. Okay. So I got it separated here. Sorry about that. I know that made for great, great. Oh. Man, this is where, okay, I got stuff all separated over here. So I did get that from Mike Fabian as well. Sorry about that, Mike. No, that was in a trade with Mike O. Jesus Christ, Scott. Mike O. We traded. Uh, I gave him a Philly. He gave me the Singa Sweet Corporal, Caporal. I gave him a Schwaber Wood. And here, I, I knew I had national hits. So Jace Jung out of... 25. I had this all nice and goal 50 of Colin Montgomery. Who I believe might have got traded this weekend, right? Brett Beatty. Shohei Otani. And I, I just put that in there because it was Shohei. Um, and then Gunnar Henderson, which I'll send off to get graded. So that was my better hits from the packs. Uh, let's see. So I started walking around, knowing where I kind of already been walking, looking for stuff. So I go back to a table way on the other side of the building. Um, I knew I wanted to go. They they had this Pete. Once this is Saturday now, and I'm like, okay, Saturday. 
going to check stuff out. Got there a little earlier than usual. But it did, then again, going slow. I get there Saturday, see YouTubers, start chatting. I don't even look in a case. We go eat lunch, come back, and then I start looking in cases. But I knew this this was clear in the new side, all the way up in the front. Couldn't go any further. Um, this Pete Alonzo out of 10 with the chunky patch. Just love it. Love, love. Pinstripe patch. Just beautiful card. This is out of Definitive, I believe. Yep, Definitive. So, nice stuff. I'm not much on gold frames because usually they get banged up. And I, they had a gold label in there. Was it? And it was a low number, but it, gold label to me, uh, people expect too much out of that product. I'm not a big gold label fan. Um, so that was one I went back to, uh, there was a Alexa bliss auto that I really wanted. Um, but it was gone. No big deal. You know, that, that I was looking for the Carrie Fisher and low number, uh, and low number stuff. So that that's no problem. And then I made one more purchase on Saturday. Take that back. Two more pur purchases. So I'm walking around and more of the vintage, the old, older side of people that have been there a long time. And if I'll talk more Saturday about what I was about to say. But anyway, I did pick a couple of decals up. One's a gift for somebody else. But I did get the Roberto Clemente, the 68. Um, so I was happy with that. Uh did, you know, later I saw one graded that wasn't much more than this and i almost picked it up just to have a raw and uh, but i was like no i'll just send this one in to be graded i almost went over to sgc and just handed in to, to take home that day but no no worries no worries that's i was trying really not to do that and then pc sports cards they were in a new vendor side in the middle where all they put where they took out all the autograph stuff and put vendors there. And they were facing the, uh, if you're familiar with that, they were facing the bigger snack bar over there. Um, they had fans right on them. Saturday, the building felt good. Uh, so I ended up getting this David Wright Silver. And don't worry, I didn't buy, I didn't pay sticker for anything. So if uh, BBC you watching, don't worry this. And I don't believe that one is. And that's Diamond Icons. I'm a sucker for silver ink autographs and gold. You can see them up there. So love this card. Uh, this next one is out of Luminaries. Out of 15. And this is actually jersey number did not re realize that when i bought it i don't really look for that but i'll take it um johnny bench five of 15 so and that is uh try to with the five home run usually it tells you what the career walk-off home runs so very awesome. Johnny Bench has an awesome autograph. I like to pick them up, but now I'm really picky about what I have because I love the autographs I have. And I'm always like, how many autographs of one guy do I need? Well, I need them all, I guess. Uh, and then this one, I did buy a, a box of Bowman Retail. I bought, I bought a box of Bowman Retail before um, just to get it a little cheaper. And uh, same table, got a great great deal on all of this so jackson holiday first bowman chrome have not hit one yet i haven't opened up a ton just one retail box and i'll show y'all how i bought another one uh so that was saturday so while i was walking around saturday I ended up buying I saw this earlier in the week. I've only saw it at a couple of tables. 
went to the one that had the best deal star tops chrome black one of my favorite products uh i found this only saw two tables have this they both have them priced the same what they were day one they didn't have it jacked up tops chrome this, uh, this version of tops chrome is beautiful for star wars um just love that one and uh let's see so and then i bought this one on they had this one marked down and i got it even more of a markdown when i went to buy it right at the end of the day um so it's a night uh 1991 um i was showing this off on omar and uh jd's card cardboard hedge and omar from retro hoops collectibles looked it up real quick uh holograms in there supposed to be their inaugural edition so i've never seen the second edition but you know i dc comic cards are hard hard you can see marvel spider-man uh, if you do see them you see the batman uh movies and i rather and they're gonna have too much movie scenes for me and stuff in it for me to really enjoy it um I like, I, I've said it before, I like port, portrait cards. So I did pick up some wax. And then Friday comes along. Uh, I walk around in the newer section or the old section. I've walked around enough where I kind of know where everything's at. But I just do another loop and I find, I went to a table that I found another David Wright at uh, that I really wanted at the right price. But they didn't have it. And the guy goes, yeah, I had that price to sell. And I said, yes, you did. But I did find this number one of 25 of Mike Piazza, which it's not in my, my PC. He's a one-off of my PC in Mets. So this is out of Supreme Baseball that they haven't made. This might even been the last year of it, 2015. I used to really like Supreme. And it's textured. So right here, this white part is on top of this gold part. It's raised. It's a pretty, pretty cool card. Got a, got a good deal on that. Uh, with that one, and uh, he, this guy had well good prices, and then I got my first downtown Pete Alonzo, and it wasn't crazy. He had a one on one of, of uh, tops uh, gold label, but he just wanted way too much. It, and it, the and, you know gold label autos have the gold frame. It was beat to hell, beat to hell. Need to hurry this up. Thanks for sticking in there, people. And then I went to the Clemente group and filled in some Clemente stuff that I needed. So this is the 1968 Tops game. You know, five. And a lot of this is just I neglect to get. I have Venezuelans and other ones, and I don't get the base all the time. Looking for the right base. Five and a half. Uh, they did have a six that was only like $25 more. But the five and a half looked better centered. Um, so I grabbed that one. Again, I got this two. And the 2.5, you can see on the back, is the there's a line in every one of them that goes through the helmet brim. Every one of them. But to this one was less pronounced. So I grabbed that one. And that's the... Uh, 1965 tops transfer and i've seen those with very high prices but me and mike were talking earlier i was looking at some cards and one guy's and they he just had nines and tens on a lot of that vintage stuff and that just prices me out uh, as you can see and then one of the toughest things to find is a checklist that has not been marked on so i picked up a checklist I went back last year to pick up the same checklist from a group that had another group that had a bunch of Clemente stuff and they already sold it. Um, so I got it this year. And that's why I don't really have FOMO. You know, some of the stuff is just comes back up, comes back up, comes back up. And then out of 707, this guy's known to be very stingy on his pricing. Um, I, I've overpaid I, I probably on this, but, you know, I was okay with it. This coin right here, I found, but I always find it beat up on the front. 
and it's a very good, excellent four. Um, so I thought this was very clean. It's it's got some beaten up on the edges, but not that I, I just thought this was a very clean copy, and I couldn't leave it behind. We we negotiated. He was telling me how much it is to get it uh, encased now by PSA. And I was like, so did you pay? Well, no, I got it. Well, then that doesn't matter. It doesn't matter anyway that I'm not paying for you to get it graded. I, I kind of told him that. Uh, well, I did tell him that. So Sunday, that was pickups from Sunday. And I also picked up this Goodwin Champions. Uh this prism, which people have really been enjoying breaking, and tops. I just wanted, to, I've been wanting to get a box of this. I know it's a tough break, but uh, I just wanted to do it. And I guess the base cards are the same. They just switch what side the tops Chrome logo is on. Uh, <laughs> uh, me and Mike were talking about. It. Mike wasn't too happy about that, and. Uh, a box of Bowman retail. And then the last thing that I, I'm going to get show you out of order. So I got Princess Leia and I had to take that back to Mike to help me he put it in his backpack for me. And then later in the show, same day, I wanted to get this when I drove to New Jersey last year and I didn't. I, I left the show and forgot all about it. And uh, I, I went back and definitely got it this time. And this is the advantages of driving. Um, you know, I, I can get stuff like this. Uh, Mike got some larger stuff as well. So, you know, all three of them signed it for whatever. Uh, Mike Tyson signed on his arm. At first I said, why did he sign on Strawberry? But he did sign on his arm. Uh, but this is old Shea. And I just... Love it. Good and strawberry Mike Tyson. Just awesome pickup. I'll I'll be taking to get this frame probably this weekend at Hobby Lobby uh to put on my wall. And uh I gotta find a spot for it. So that that's we're gonna end it on that. I, I just thank everybody for sticking in there. I know it's a long video. I didn't pick up as much singles as I usually do. I didn't I didn't hit any boxes. Um I went after autos. I did come back with money sitting over here. Uh, not a lot, but I did come back with money. I didn't have empty pockets. Uh, you know, so I'm, I'm happy about that. Uh, so until next time, like, share, tell a friend. Tell me downstairs. All right, downstairs. Yeah, downstairs. Down below, uh, you know, what best pickups. Do you think that was done with anything? I know I'm pretty done with wax, but that's kind of my thing when I go to this show. I used to pick up wax and pop it at night when I was by myself. Uh, this time I only opened up two boxes uh, at, at, at the show. I did ice one day when everybody went to the show and my back was hurting me. Um, and I did wrestling one night with everybody else popping their boxes. So that was about it. So I am so happy I got Carrie Fisher. Uh, I'm trying to figure out where I can prominently put her at. I, I like to put her somewhere behind me that she's in my videos, and she probably will. So until next time, like, share, tell a friend, and we'll see ya.